Mobile Trader – How to Use XM Android Pad Part 3 We will return to the main platform window to show you how to place an order. The first method to place an order is by clicking and holding down a selected instrument, for example the Euro USD. Pressing and holding a particular instrument will make a mini action window pop up. Here click the first option, which is New Order. This will open the order window. By clicking the symbol tab, a drop down menu appears with all the available instruments of your main instruments list. The first option is the type of order. By clicking it, the drop down menu appears. Here you can select the order type. You can choose market execution or a specific type of pending order. To place a pending order, select Buy Limit. Once you have selected the type of order, the Buy Limit Options panel will appear. You can adjust the volume by clicking inside the box and typing the volume number on your keyboard. You can also increase or decrease the volume by pressing plus or minus 0.01 or 0.1 lot. By clicking Price, you can edit the target price of your pending order, either entering it manually or by using plus and minus buttons. With the same way, you can adjust stop loss and take profit values. The last option on this section is Expiration. By clicking on this tab, a small drop-down menu appears. Here you can choose between GTC and Specified. The GTC option is selected by default and it stands for Good Till Cancelled. It means that the order will be active unless manually cancelled by the user. By choosing Specified, a new window appears which allows you to choose a specific expiry date and time for your pending order. To confirm this action, click OK and return to the Order Options screen. After you have adjusted all options, proceed by clicking the Place button located at the bottom of the Orders window. After clicking it, you can see that your pending order has been successfully placed. Click Done to return to the main chart window where you can see the trade levels of your pending order. The trade levels of your pending order are displayed as horizontal lines on the chart window. To hide the trade level lines from your chart, go back to the settings option and unclick the box on its right side. Once you do this and return to the main chart, you can see that the trade level lines are now hidden from the chart window screen. By ticking that option, the trade levels lines will reappear. Another method of placing an order is to click the New Order button on the top right side of the main platform window. This will take you back to the Order Main Window option panel. For this type of order, you can choose for example the Market Execution option. After setting the desired volume, you can choose either Buy or Sell. Let's choose the Buy option to see how it works. Once clicked, you will see that your order has been successfully placed. In the main chart window, you can see additional lines of your market execution order. In the trade tab, you can see all of your open positions and pending orders. By pressing and holding down the pending order, a mini action window pops up. To modify this order, click Modify Order. Clicking this option takes you to the Modify Options screen. By clicking Stop Loss, you can modify the Stop Loss position. Using the same method, click Take Profit to modify the Take Profit position. After all modifications have been made, click Modify. The next option in the Mini Action window is New Order. Clicking New Order takes you back to the New Order window options screen. New Order is available only in open position, not in pending orders. To demonstrate the automatic triggering, trades must be allowed to run for some time. In the History Main tab, you can see that the market execution order has hit stop loss and was automatically closed. At the same time, the pending order was opened and later automatically closed by stop loss. Note that in the History tab, you can also see specific settings for each placed order. By pressing on the Symbols icon on the left side of the History tab, a drop-down menu appears. Here you are presented with the list of symbols you recently placed for your trade. You can choose which symbols will be shown and display the orders involving only that currency. For example, if you choose EURUSD, 
Only orders involving this symbol will be shown in the History tab. To see the history for all symbols, choose All Symbols. If you press the calendar icon, you can set the time frames in which you wish to see your previous trade history. By choosing Custom Period, a new window will pop up displaying periods that you can manually choose from. Now let's see how a pending order can be cancelled. Press and hold down the pending order. This will make the mini action window appear. Here you have three options. Modify order, delete order and chart. By pressing modify order once, the modify main window appears. After you adjust the values, click modify so that the changes can take place. Once selected, by pressing delete order, a new mini confirmation window pops up. Here you can choose to either confirm or cancel the termination of this particular order. Let's choose the delete option to terminate this order. Once the order is closed, you can see that your main trades tab is empty. By clicking the history tab, you can see the removed order and the previously terminated orders. By clicking new order at the top right side of the main platform window, you will go to the order window where you can choose open orders. Let's proceed by choosing a buy order of Euro USD. The confirmation order window will appear. In the trade tab, you can see your active order. By pressing and holding down the active order, the mini display window pops up. Select close order from the menu. Clicking it takes you to the order window. Press close order window to terminate this order. Under the history tab, you can see your history including your winning orders. The left side of the main platform window displays the messages button. Press it to open the messages window. With the magnifying button on the top right hand side of the messages panel, you can manually type in a particular message you are searching for. By choosing Delete, you can remove selected messages from the message box. Press on the bin icon to delete selected messages. By clicking the Account button, located on the top left side of the main window screen, an Accounts window will open with several login options. On the top, you can see your current account details. The green box indicates that the account is connected online. By pressing the Menu button, you can choose Go Offline, where the colour of the box will then change to grey. Or you can delete the currently live account. Here you can also connect to other accounts. To delete or log into the account, which is currently not connected, press and hold on it to open the Options menu. Here you can choose to log in, delete or see properties for this account. End of part 3. Thank you for watching.